Welcome to the RC Brothers Switzerland, to our first video of hopefully what's going to be a short series of videos for RC plane beginners. Um, there are actually no RC Brothers Switzerland, it's actually a father-son team. Um, we started last year to get seriously into the hobby after visiting a flying field for many years where we were watching planes uh, and we were, starting, we were starting to talk to the people. So last year in, in about April we started to seriously get uh, into the hobby and to make some purchases and this video series is really directed at beginners who want to learn from our mistakes and also want to see what we feel we did right and so that you don't have to make certain mistakes. Um, we are complete Horizon Hobby fanboys. We, we would uh, certainly um, agree to that. Um, we fly with Spectrum radios. We fly, we use the smart technology, smart batteries, smart chargers. We have two radios, um, which we will talk more about at a later stage. And we have about a fleet of a dozen planes so far. Um, so really what you can expect from this series is that we introduce those planes to you, we tell you maybe how to fly them well, we tell you for whom they are intended, some more beginner planes and then some more intermediate and some more advanced planes. And um, we, our main logo, uh, our main credo would be if it's safe and if it's fun, it's right. And this is something we learned from one of the YouTube channels from the RC sailors and we certainly agree. So be careful when you get into this hobby. There's plenty of advice out there and everybody has very strong opinions. In the end you just have to do what is right for you. And the key here is safety and fun that you enjoy it. And then it's certainly correct what you're doing. Um, in regard to YouTube, we find the best channel by far, the most informative is Brian Phillips and his videos, which are very, very detailed. The RC sailors are a lot of fun. Uh, our, uh, what we learn from, from those videos is if, if Abby can fly it, we can fly it for sure. Um, what we don't like about that channel is that everything seems to be cool and everything is a must have and a must buy. And that is not necessarily true. Um, Pilot Ryan is another brilliant channel. I think it's a little bit more sophisticated and maybe not so much for beginners, but that would be probably a third channel that we would recommend. But certainly uh, Brian Phillips is, is number one. Um, yeah, so we are the RC Brothers Switzerland. Uh, I started when I was 56 last year. My son was only six years old. Um, certainly one of the first pieces of advice that we can give any beginner is get yourself some kind of uh, flight simulator. We would have loved to get the Horizon Hobby one, but we have Max at home and although we were told that it could work or if you do this or that, then yes, it's going to work, but that's not what we have. So we have another one which we will introduce at some other stage in another video but certainly get some time on a simulator. That's what we did and that certainly helped us. Um, what I maybe just very basically want to touch upon, there, there might always be a follow-up video to when we post a video, when we realize all the things that we didn't say that we forgot to say, but maybe again as a, as a very first, um, uh, some of some very first advice is if you want to buy, Horizon Hobby planes. You have the choice from three different brands within Horizon Hobby. And you have the Hobby Zone brand for real beginner planes, of which we only have one, uh, the Aero Scout. And then you have E-Flight, which has a lot of models and at very different levels and really cool ones. And we have basically most of our planes are E-Flight models. And then of course, Hangar 9, which at this stage, after not nearly a year of flying is too much for us. Um, but maybe one day. Many of our friends at the club where we have become a member uh, fly Hangar 9, fly of course also other brands, also have different radio controls other than Spectrum. There's all kinds of opinions out there. All we can tell you is 
that if you're still at the beginning of the hobby and you're thinking about which brands to buy, we are very happy about our Spectrum radios. We're very happy with the whole smart technology and having a smart charger and smart batteries. And we're very happy with the Horizon Hobby planes. Um, when it comes to uh, buying Horizon Hobby planes, you normally have in the e-flight sector, you have three choices, not always three, but um, they can come as an RTF, ready to fly version, they come as a BNF version, bind and fly, or they come as a PNP plug and play. Now, what does that mean? It means if you're a complete beginner, then maybe when you watch our second video or third video, look at some of the planes that we recommend to start with. And some of these planes come ready to fly, which means they have a small radio already with them. They have a charger, a battery and the plane. And there's very little that you need to put together and then you can go and fly. Also, those RTF models from Horizon Hobby, they normally come with three different flight modes, which means you have a beginner flight mode, an intermediate flight mode and an, ex an experienced flight mode which again is something we can look at in another video more specifically. But that's a big advantage to have those three flight modes. Um, Horizon Hobby planes have um, a stabilizer. They have gyros, which help you fight the wind. It's called AS3X and it's absolutely brilliant. I do not understand anybody who would not want to have something like this in their planes, but there are some people obviously who find no. No way, that's not what they want. So fair enough. Uh, some people drive a stick shift car, others drive an automatic car. I've been driving all my life an automatic car. I'm not missing anything, but for some people that's not really car driving either. So, And of course, uh, Horizon Hobby has safe technology, um, which is again something that we will need to explain uh, more in more detail at some other stage. Um, so. To sum it up, we just wanted to introduce ourselves. So the RC Brothers Switzerland, actually a father-son team, basically a year or so into the hobby. You can see behind me a Pitts and a T28 Trojan. These are just two of our about 12 or 13 planes that we have. Um, we completely um, are, we are completely fans of, of Horizon Hobby and Spectrum uh, Smart Technology. And uh, I hope you're going to join us in our series of videos explaining more in depth which kind of um, radio we've chosen and why and what kind of radios are out there from, from Spectrum. And we're going to look more at the different models, some more beginners than even some jets, some EDFs, which we already fly and some warbirds, which we also already fly. Um, and it's just great. It's a great hobby, but be careful. It's completely addictive. <laughs> it will cost you some money. Um, in, I don't know, in Switzerland, we have the um, possibility to actually insure objects like planes, like RC planes. Um, don't know if that's possible in your country. So maybe in, with your first couple of planes, you want to do that. So if you have a total disaster and you really the whole thing breaks, which is actually quite rare, a lot of stuff will break, but it won't break in such a way that you can't repair it. But then you might get the money back from, from the insurance. So anyhow, um, again, if it's safe and if it's fun, it's going to be right. It's a great hobby. It's a great hobby to do with your kids. It's a great hobby even if you start at an old age like me. And if you're not such a, if you're more like a technophobe like me, it's a little bit difficult for me with all these electronics and programming and so on. If I can do it, you can do it. And remember to follow the rules of your country. That's very important in, in regard to RC flying. If you need to register, if you need to train, if you need to have any papers, the insurance is very, very important. And you really need to try to find out where are you going to fly? Are you going to be, is there a club close by? Can you join some, some club, which will be brilliant? It's really good to have friends. It's really good to have people who can guide you. There's something called body boxing, which I always do with my son where two remote controls, two, two transmitters are connected to each other and I can always take over so my son can fly a plane. And if he, I see that he's about to make a mistake or he just made a mistake, 
I can take over within a split second and, and land, safely take over the plane and land the plane. So make sure that you follow the safety rules. Do, props can be extremely dangerous. Do not underestimate these planes. Uh, the hobby grade planes are, they're serious. They're not real planes, okay, but then they're pretty close and their propellers can really injure people. Uh, crashing planes can damage property, can damage houses, can damage cars, and much worse, they can damage uh, animals and they can damage people. And it happens. Uh, we experienced a very close call when we were still just watching at our flying field, when we were not part of the club yet. A plane came down and my son and me were sitting in the back of our car with the car hood basically in the back open and we're, with our feet dangling outside. And we kind of had a shady place looking outside onto the flying field and one guy lost control of the plane and it crashed like virtually the car length, a car length away from our car. And if it didn't hit the car, it completely splashed into a thousand pieces and flew under our car and it cut through pieces of a tree with the propeller. And if this would have hit us, if we would have been sitting outside and if it would have hit us, I, I don't want to know what would have happened. So do not underestimate these things. In every single Horizon Hobby uh, booklet, here's one for the new, um, yeah, maybe like this. This is for the new A10, the instructions. And uh, it always says how much space you actually need to safely fly this plane. So do not think that you can just go in front in your front yard or your backyard and then you can fly a 1 meter 50 plane. It's not going to have enough uh, space or a jet. Um, not a good idea. But by the way, planes, the bigger the better. That's really true when it comes to handling the wind, handling the elements. That's certainly true. So if you just buy an itty bitty little plane, it might not really be a good idea to begin with. So that's also something we're going to talk more in this series. Enough for the introduction. I hope you enjoyed meeting at least one of the RC Brothers Switzerland. And I'm looking forward to talking to you way more and maybe even in German and specifically looking at different objects, planes, radios, etc. So. For now, bye from Switzerland and nice meeting you. Bye.